What? Uh. Um. Okay, so the whispers are. Oh. Poor deluded man, enthralled to a madness that even he could not explain. Hello. A madness Same. called the Countess. I, uh. I know you. We have spoken before, but it is not important. But hush, aren't you tired? You need to rest. Tired? Wait, wait, wait. Shh, just sleep. You sort of look like the Countess as well, That's though. It. Sleep. Tomorrow you will wake up energized and refreshed. You will not remember me, but don't worry. We will meet very shortly. Wait, are you the, the Countess's spirit guide who went missing? Maybe? I don't know. Good morning. You're perky today. Sleep well? Apparently. Yeah, I did. I've been thinking. Too much has happened for this to be mere coincidence. What do you mean? In the gallery? There was a painting. Hmm. A painting of her. Really? I knew it looked familiar, but I didn't recognize it until now. What did it look like? Yeah. Why don't we head over and you can take a look for yourself. It's the front door. Oh, <laughs> it's the front door. I know, I can recognize a front door, Rosa. I'm ready if you are. Hold your horses, will you? I'm coming. <laughs> Alright, let's let's see if Nishanti's home, because that she wasn't home all of yesterday. Nishanti is at home. My goodness, where is this woman going all day? Oh, because today is the uh There, it's her. I knew it. Now look yeah. at that and tell me this isn't a coincidence. Stupid old hag. We'll find you. Just see if we don't. Okay, so this is a lighthouse. I better not touch it. Josie would... Oh, for goodness. It's just a lighthouse. I wonder which one. Is there anything else about the city? It definitely looks like the woman from the other night, but she looks sad. Of course she does. She's dead. She's haunting a painting, apparently. That's Josie Park. She hey. seems... Talk to her. Hi, Josie. Yes? Is Hi, it... Josie. Can I talk to you for a bit more? I'm kind of swamped, but okay. What are you doing? You're just standing there. So, how's everything going? Oh, you know. Busy, busy. No, this I don't is my know. first public opening. I want it to be just right. That, that's nice. Tell me about Claude. Oh, I found him on the street. Literally. Oh. He made his living painting street scenes and selling them to tourists. But he's too much of a genius for that. Yeah. Don't you think so? Oh, yes, definitely. See? I knew he was the right choice for this gallery. How much do these paintings cost? Hmm. Oh, I can't reveal the prices until the public exhibit. But if you're interested in any of them, let me know. I'll discount it for you. Oh, no thanks. I'm not really in the market for any art right now. But I might Translation, she can't afford it. Oh! oh Alright. But if you change your mind, let me know. I'd like to know more about that painting there. Oh, the Dark Lady. It's yeah. different than his other paintings. I'm worried the investors won't like it, but Claude insists. What do you want to know? Well, what can you tell me about the Dark Lady? Yeah. Well, it's different, isn't it? Claude's work is mostly abstract, but this is actually of a specific subject. Yeah. Did Claude ever say why? No, but she's definitely striking. She strikes all right. I still got the scars. Aww. Claude gets weird when I ask who she is or why he put her in front of the Roosevelt Island Lighthouse. <laughs> I figure it's just one of those eccentric artist things. The Roosevelt Island Lighthouse, huh? It's been a while since I've been over there. Hmm. Where can I find Claude? Knowing him, he's probably preparing for tonight. Mm -hmm. Preparing? You know, glug glug. Oh. He's hitting the sauce. Ah. Uh. Manana? <laughs> you mentioned something about investors. Oh yes, the Meltzer Foundation. They Ooh. paid for everything. The renovation, the lights, everything. I've got to pay them back eventually, of course, but still. Mensa. Okay. Oops. Sorry. Clicked out of the screen. Gonna ask you about, uh, you got How long have you been in business? Not long. Just a few days now. This loft opened up and I just nabbed it. Real yeah. estate in this neighborhood is harder to get than you'd think. Yeah. Someone must have died for it. How well do you know Monique Stallman? 
She's a nice lady, although I don't think she'll be back. She didn't seem to really appreciate Claude's work. I'm sorry. No worries. It's not everybody's cup of tea. Do you know anything about Frank Lyon's death? Yeah. Spooky, isn't it? Imagine someone just dying of a heart attack right in front of you. Poor uh, Monique must have been traumatized. Yeah, traumatized all the way to the bank. Have you ever heard of a place called the Minetta? The Minetta? No? Sorry. Have you ever heard of Joe Gould or the Joe Gould Fund? No? Hmm. Sorry. Oh, the oh, well, you know about that. Can you tell me anything about the Meltzer Foundation? Oh, those guys are a godsend. Without them, I never would have been able to open this place. I presented them with my plan for the gallery, and poof, they wrote me a check. That's pretty generous. Yeah. I never thought it was venture capital material, but go figure. I'll have to pay them back, of course, and give them a percentage of our income, but look around. It's my life's dream realized. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Thanks, Josie. I better get going. Yeah. Sure, Angela. I'll see you at the opening tonight. I guess so. Um, yeah. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know what I'm planning to do tonight, because I don't know how the game goes. <sighs> Alright, well. Hey, we can still go to cute stuff, don't we? I guess we can go ask about the, uh... Come in. Strangulation. Oh, hello. Again? I know. I know, it's just amazing that I'm here. I'm just gonna save... Monkeys. Guy for a while. Cute cat. Thanks, but she's not mine. She was Frank's. Okay, we Just need between to know. you and me, she's not very friendly. No, she scratched me. What do you think of Josie Park's gallery? Yeah. Ugh, dreadful. <laughs> Josie's a sweet woman, but her taste in art is somewhat questionable. <gasps> Although it didn't drive me to drink, like some people. Oh. What else can you tell me about yourself? Is it relevant? Not really. Then there you go. Oh. I'd like to know the truth about Frank's death. Mm. What do you mean? I told you everything I know. Not everything. Yeah. He didn't have a heart attack, did he? Oh, I love seeing sweat on a pretty girl's brow. Look, I gave my statement. I don't see why I should tell you anything. Okay, fine. Have you ever heard of a place called the Minetta? Minetta! Sorry, no. Have you ever heard of Joe Gould or the Joe Gould Fund? Sorry, no. Hi, Mr. Gould. What do you know about the Meltzer Foundation? Why, are you looking for a loan? <laughs> Maybe. You deal with them? They invested in our last film. Oh. Water Under the Bridge? That's the one. I assume they got their money back since the film was such a success. Not that it's any of your business, but yes, they did. Hmm, interesting. Thanks for the chat, Monique. Sure. How did they tie into it? And did they know the Durkins? I'm assuming the Durkins are going to come up again. Uh, Hot Gallery... Minetta! Oh. Claude, you're here! Now if I look at this again... Joe Gould. It's a portrait of Joe Gould. It's a portrait... With a lot of booze. <laughs> Holding a stick, apparently. Ah. It's a portrait... I can see it's a portrait of Joe Gould. I'm gonna ask you about the Joe Gold thing and then I'll talk to Claude. Hi there, got time? Sure, ask away. Yeah, um... Are you sure you've never seen Frank? Yeah, I'm quite... I think he... Yeah, I think he's telling the truth as well. Have you ever heard of Joe Gould or anything called the Joe Gould Fund? <laughs> yeah, you can say that. Sometimes I think they should just rename this place the Joe Gould Bar and be done with it. Really? People hear about him and they come in here to ask about him. Huh. That's his portrait up there behind you. He died a long time ago. Who was he? He was some homeless guy who wandered the West Village in the 50s and 60s. He told some crazy stories and people found him entertaining. So they gave him money for his food and his beer. He referred to the money as the Joe Gould Fund. He also tried to write a book or something. He never finished it? Nope. Hey, sounds like your soulmate. Oh! Can you tell me anything about the Meltzer Foundation? No, sorry. Alright, sounds like saying I need it. Google. Claude? Rosangela Blackwell, the writer. Come on over. Have a drink. Wow. You remember me. Who could forget someone who could down three glasses of claret in half an hour? Oh. <laughs> Bit early to be drinking. Says the woman who had to be carried home the other night by an old Indian lady. 
My yeah. opening is tonight, and I intend to be well and truly plastered. It's the only way I'll be able to bear it. Yeah. I'd like to talk to you about your work. I'd love to, but I'm not drunk enough. I really like that painting of yours, the Dark Lady. <laughs> My paintings aren't meant to be liked. Ooh. They are meant to be understood. But nobody does. I feel like Joe Gould sometimes. Uh, I, I doubt it. I'd really like to know more about the Dark Lady. I have a rule. I don't talk about my work unless I'm drunk enough. How drunk is that? I'm not sure, but I'm working on it. What do you think of the park gallery? It's alright, I guess. I don't know what Josie sees in my stuff. She doesn't understand it at all. She likes it enough to risk her money on it. Liking it isn't the same as understanding it. Still, Josie's been good to me. How could I say no? Easily? Do you know Monique Stallman? She was at the gallery the other night, yeah? Uh-huh. Yeah. She told me my work was awful. I liked her. She <laughs> insulted your work, but you liked her. She was sure. honest. She was honest. She didn't pretend to be awed by it like all the other phonies do. Do you know anything about Frank Lyons, the actor? He died a few months ago, didn't he? Yeah. Yep. Never saw his work. Don't go to the movies much. Nah, no, you don't look like it. You come here often? Enough. It's old-fashioned, you know? Yeah. You know about Joe Gould? Sure I do. He was one of the city's last geniuses. Or maybe he was just nuts, I don't know. Maybe I'm just nuts too. Either way, he's famous now. Thanks to Joseph Mitchell. Uh, Did he just say Joseph Mitchell? Yeah, he did. Oh, cause he wrote about a guy, he said he wrote a guy about a guy in the bar. And he died. And yeah, he was the first person. Oh, Joseph. Can you tell me anything about the Meltzer Foundation? Those are the guys who were funding Josie's gallery? Yeah. You'd have to talk to Josie about them. I just throw colors at a canvas. Ooh. Could you tell me more about Joseph Mitchell? Another of the city's great geniuses. Gone. Oh. He could talk to you for five minutes and then write a biography that made you seem like the most fascinating person alive. And then they wouldn't be alive for long. And then he stopped writing. Nobody knows why, at least not for sure. Mm. He published a book about Joe Gould, and then poof, no more writing. He went to his office at the New Yorker every day for 30 years and never wrote a single word. Well, that's not entirely true. He did write three articles, and two of them died. I'd really like to- I have a rule. Hey, you want to get more drunk? Bye, Claw. Yeah. Bartender. Hi there. Got sure, ask away. Have you ever heard of a reporter named Joseph Mitchell? No, sorry. Okay. So I guess I have to ask you about Dark Lady tonight then. Back to the Oogle. Is Nishanti home? Nishanti is at home. Damn it! You did not see me misspell that. Alright. Only oh, died May 24th, 1988. No, 1996. What the hell? 1888. He was on the staff of New York Magazine for nearly 60 years from 1938 until his death in 1996. He was well known for his plain spoken essays of eccentrics and unstable people on the fringes of society. Joseph Mitchell is also known for a legendary case of writer's block. After completing his last biography in 1964, he continued to go to his New York office every day until his death, but never completed another article for the magazine. Poor oh, Joseph Mitchell. And there was also the... No. No. Uh, um, well, we'll take our episode break, but when we come back, I will have the correct spelling of Meltzer Organization so we can do a little research on them as well. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.